just looking for a good time. Hey guys, it's just me again. Um, as you can see, my channel is completely different. I uh, spent a lot of time on that, so I hope you appreciate it. And in this tutorial, um, I'm going to show you how to make some false eyelashes. Um, so let's just jump right in. I'm going to just zoom in on her um, left eye just because I would rather work with that one because I'm kind of picky. And then I'm going to add a layer. I'm going up to my taskbar, clicking Layer, New Layer. And again, you can rename this whatever you want. Click OK. And um, so then, on, first things first, I'm going to adjust my brush tool. Now, um, again, you can use this or you can use your bracket keys. And for hardness for eyelashes, probably go pretty high, about 90. And, and then adjust your size, the brush size, by using your bracket keys. Um, and make sure that it's about the size of the lashes. So that's good. And then you're going to take your pen tool and make sure it's not freeform pen tool, but it's just pen tool. And I don't know why that showed up. Okay. And um, I'm simply going to click where I want the eyelash to start and click but do not lift up the pad on the mouse and drag to get the curve of the eyelash that you want. You can obviously mess around with this and uh, mess around with the curviness like that, like each way it goes and how far and how how far down or how far up it goes. I'm just going to stick with that. And what I'm simply going to do is right click on the area with my pen tool and click stroke path and you're going to want this set to brush and make sure that simulate pressure is not checked and then just click OK. Now as you can see the um, line has already appeared but I still have this anchor point, anchor point here um, so I'm going to go up to view show anch target path um, or you can click shift control H or um, shift command H I think on a Mac um, just uncheck it and you can see it's there but it's still really harsh and does not match so we're gonna go over and change our blending mode to from normal to soft light and that kind of actually made it blend in more um, but you can also mess around with the opacity if you want um, I'm gonna set mine around 80 and um, that's for one if you want another one simply click or hold down, I should say, Alt or Option, I believe. But make sure that you have your Move tool on. And drag to the point that you want. And let go. And you can see that creates a Layer 1 copy. And simply just repeat the process. And if you get into an area where you need to rotate the eyelash or make it bigger or smaller, go up to the top of just underneath your taskbar and where it says show transform controls and click that on and you can just move it any way you need um, and rotate it however you need it rotated and you can also change the size and everything and then click enter and then just uh, uncheck show transform controls and that really messed it up I messed up I'm sorry um, so I'm just gonna delete that layer but you get the idea you can mess around with this and I'm just gonna group these layers I'm gonna show you what it looked like before and um, what it looked like after so that's what it was before and that's what it was after and definitely from far away they're going to look like real eyelashes so I'll show you with it off and with it on. And they definitely look real. They don't look fake at all. You can repeat this process um, as many times as necessary, as needed, to your delight. Um, and again, I suggest you use the ch transform controls to move it so it obviously it doesn't look fake. So um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is now my ninth video, and I'm excited <laughs> yeah, that um, my videos are getting good ratings and um i really hope that they're helping you so uh any requests message or comment and i will try to get those up uh asap how about baby we make a promise and i promise anything more than one night complicated situations only get worse in the morning light hey i'm just
just looking for a good time.